Yes. Can we be honest? Yes. Yahweh, I praise for I praise for my mom. I, Yahweh, I praise for the conditions. Time out. Hold, hold, stop. You just go right in. Your bars right in. You don't knock on the door. You don't recognize who is king and subordinate. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, I pray for all the conditions. Yahweh, I pray that you give, you give us uh, you give us your glory. Well, that's nice, but that is not the ingredients. You've got to bake this pie the right way to get the response and the answers that you want. Amen. Abba, you recognize he is, we are all subordinate to him. Amen. He answers to no one. No one has his full mind. No one has his full counsel. Then we have the freedom to say, yes. hallowed be the name of Yahuwah. Abba Yahuwah, Kadosh Shemecha. So another ingredient, we, get, we, we sanctify the name and the position. Write it down. We don't just say the name. The name and position. Sanctify it. We sanctify. Sanctificar. Position. Eh and nombre. Both. You, if you do the position without the title, without the name, what are you doing? That's what the church does, right? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you do the name without the position, a matriarch could do that, or the sacred name movement can do that. Hello? Obey. Kadosh Shemecha, verse 10. Your malchut come. Okay, so right away, another ingredient is I have to be here to pray for a kingdom purpose. Not a laundry list of complaints and self pity. And an overflow of frustration so that I'm, I'm frustrating before Him instead of receiving kingdom purpose and kingdom direction and guidance every day. You can't pray when you're frustrated out of your emotions and you're wounded. You have constantly wounded and hurt or bitter and hurt and you're just frustrating before him. That is not. When we come to prayer, it is, Father, the kingdom needs to be built. The kingdom needs to, what is my role in the kingdom? What is my purpose in the kingdom? Why was I brought into the kingdom for such a time as Esther 4.4? 4, as this. So these are ingredients of prayer and their their kingdom purpose prayers. You see that? Yes. Yes, we can share with him, but what what you should tell us back in verse what? Back in verse eight. Look at verse eight. Don't you see he knows what we need before we ask? Look at Matthew Yahoo six eight. Don't you know, don't you see <laughs> that he knows what we need what? Even before we ask, so then why are we praying? To bend our will to his will? And for his Mahut to come. Come where? In Jerusalem? No. no. In New Guinea? No. no. In the Ivory Coast? No. 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 In here. Huh. And the body. See, man's yeah. problem is we, we try to change kingdoms without changing hearts. Without allowing Yahuwah to change our hearts and our wickedness and what we're doing that is not promoting and furthering his kingdom. So man's idea is just get rid of Mubarak, get rid of Kennedy, overthrow government, overthrow leaders. Kingdoms change and we have regime change. Yeah, that is the, more than likely the people who will use vain repetitions and see prayer as getting you who is blessing as they go into the, with the hooker. Not physical hooker, but spiritual hookery. I've had to learn this the hard way. Hello? No. Amen. No. Your kingdom come. Where? Well, if you stay through, you'll see the ingredients. Number one, a tali. Number two, relax. A couch. Not a religious approach. No King James English necessary. Mm -hmm. Number three, respect patriarchy, which, is, which are visible manifestations of his relationship to the kihila. Someone said this to me. Can i, I got to share this. You'll forgive me. And even if you don't forgive me, you can kiss my Torah. <laughs> I'm leaving that alone. I spoke to somebody the other day, said, you know, you know, Rabbi, you have you read Gileana, chapter 19, the marriage supper of the Lamb, yeah? That's not what it says in the original Aramaic, or well, the Greek in this case, because we don't have the Aramaic of Gileana. In the original Greek, or the second generation Greek, which is our original, because we don't have the Aramaic, it doesn't say marriage supper. Blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. 
You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Want to see how matriarchy has come into this world? Yeah. Through the translators? Mm -hmm. It says the marriage supper of the Lamb, right? Mm -hmm. Laddie, in English? That's not what it says in, in Greek. What does it say? In Spanish, it's, it's translated correctly. Las botas de cordero. Eh? Bodas. Bodas. No boda. Yeah? It's boda is singular, yeah? Mm -hmm. What does it say in Spanish? Which is correct, by the way. Las bodas. Las bodas. You know what that means in English? The marriage suppers, meaning all of us are his brides. He is a practicing. He doesn't just approve of plural marriage. He practices it. Bodas. Bodas. Am I telling the truth? In the reign of Valera? Yes, correct. It's amazing, the things Yahuwah... And so who do you think changed it to the Boda? Hmm. Who do you think changed it? The matriarch spirit. I said the matriarch spirit. Mm -hmm. And who was the first <clears throat> matriarchal spirit? You got it. The one thrown out of the house. Notice it wasn't the patriarch that was thrown out. It's getting quiet now. So the, the ingredient of wanting the mahout, if we want the mahout to come in our prayer life, he will always be faithful to answer prayer. But honestly, most of the times when we pray, when you pray, is that what you're in? Is it? Oh, Father, mm -hmm. your kingdom come. My life, my work, my job, my hands, my feet. Psalm 105, you teach my hands to war. Teach my hands and my feet to build your kingdom, to promote your kingdom. Your kingdom would come through me, not in Jerusalem, because I can't bring the kingdom into Yerushalayim. Only Yeshua HaMashiach <coughs> can bring the kingdom into Yerushalayim. Okay. But I can bring the kingdom into my home.